Coach Alder from 10th Planet Watch. I'm here at the lovely Burbank Airport. We're going to be on our way to Las Vegas here shortly for Grappler's Quest World Series. My colleague and cohort, Scott Epstein, will be going against some of the toughest competition there is out there in the grappling world. He's been preparing and he's at his best. And we're going to see maybe, quite possibly, the most talented Scott Epstein you've ever seen. So, strap yourselves in and get ready because we're going to take it into hyperdrive. Thanks, guys. Hi, I'm with Scott Epstein out in Las Vegas, Nevada. We're here for the Grappler's Quest World Series. Scott, tell us a little bit about who your opponents are and what your goal is for this tournament. Uh, my goal for this tournament is to not have my knee blown out um, and uh, you know, win money. My goal is to win money or just do the best I can um, till then. Um, hopefully, you know, I'll be protected by special floating objects above me. Uh, some of you call it God. So, God willing, you're going to do willing, the best job you can. God willing, Jesus Christ will um, make sure that I win a grappling tournament. It's very important. That's um, good. And so will... Buddha and uh, uh, who are I'm supposed to pray to because I'm Jewish. Mohammed. And Allah. Allah will help me. Um, and so, Scott, what's your game plan going into this tournament? Don't get hurt. Don't get hurt. How about your offensive game plan? Um, I'm probably just for my uh, for protection reasons. I'm probably gonna pull half guard most of the time. I'm not going to bother trying to wrestle with a bunch of guys that probably wrestle better than me. Um, I'm not going to pull guard uh, due to my injury, so I'm probably just going to half guard. Try to set up sweeps, and if uh, the guard's pulled on me, I have a strong base and I have a lot of submissions from when someone's pulling half guard on me. Regular guard, it might just be really boring. There's some leg lockers. I'm going to try to avoid them going near my feet because obviously I'm hurt. Um, but more so, you know, just have fun and hope that, uh, hope that, you know, uh, Santa Claus and uh, Jihad are here to help me, along with the Easter Bunny. It's important to have support. Yeah. 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 So tell us, what are your plans for this year? After the tournament, 2010. I plan on being rich this year. This year's going to be a rich one. This year I'm going to be rich. I foresee it. Um, I, I understand your agent told me you have a DVD coming out and some other projects. You want to elaborate? Oh, yeah, I have the 10th uh, Planet All Stars DVD coming out um, with uh, Danny P, Sean Bollinger as well on there. Maybe some other people pop up here and there. Um, 
elder hamster, um, uh, 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 Krishna, Holy Krishna is going to be in, in the DVD, showing some of his uh, moves, how to uh, sell books at the airport, it's, it's one of his best techniques. Very um, nice, very technical I understand. Yeah, yeah, he's slick, he's got an army of guys doing his shit. Um, so uh, that DVD uh, is pretty soon going to be released. Um, uh, you'll see the marketing popping up here and there through Bruno videos and uh, online commercials. Um, and uh, I'm excited about that uh, just because the quality is just above and beyond anything else that's ever been put out there um, for jujitsu at least. It's not like some guy in his basement with uh, someone else interpreting what he's saying, you know, with like a, a lamp used for lighting. I, I did this at a, I did this at a movie studio with movie cameras that cost more than my fucking house. Um, multiple camera angles coming in. Uh, and it's, it's gonna look good, you know? Um, Erwan Marshall, Mr. 100% himself, is actually doing the editing. Um, he's almost finished. And then it's, it's go time. Fantastic. Do we have a date set or? Uh... I don't have a date because it's close to Christmas now and I was gonna release it right around now for Christmas, but things got backed up as usual. So I'm gonna wait until after Christmas, let people, you know, make their money back, and uh, from what they spent on useless fruit cakes and, and sweaters and socks for dad. Um, and then uh, I'm going to uh, release it sometime after that. I have some other special things going on, so probably when those other special things are going on, don't ask me about it, you'll find out when you find out, go fuck yourself. Um, then we'll, uh, We'll probably, maybe I'll release it then, depending on how long it is. I understand you have some very special projects that you can't talk about, but yeah, uh, yeah go fuck yourself. Congratulations on those. Uh, I'm sure everybody and their mother will hear about them when the time is right. Yeah. So, Buddha willing. Buddha willing. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah. Um, any shots out before we go? I'd like to give a um, a shout out to uh, BJ, not BJ Penn, but BJ of BJ's uh, Cocktail Lounge um, in Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'd like to give a shout out to the cab man, um, who's not going to charge me $30 for this cab ride, because he's the cab man, you know I'm saying? He's going to stick it to the man and charge me like $10. I have a, actually a couple questions we'll cut in. Uh, tell us about uh, your teaching, your place you're teaching now. Um, um, uh, where I teach? Yeah. Uh, generally I teach uh, a couple classes a week over at 10th Planet um, Burbank. Mm -hmm. um, with. Uh, uh, the lovely students there. Um, classes are growing. Um, everyone's really appreciative. It's a pleasure to teach there. You know, it's, it's, it's great to teach, and you guys are soaking it in, and they want to use it, um, and they want to learn more, and they have questions. Uh, it's another thing to teach when people are like drifting off and talking in the corner. I don't like that, and that never happens at Burbank. Everyone's really into what they're doing. And yeah, we've got a great them. set of attentive guys who yeah. love to learn. It's good yeah, over there. They're really into it. Hi, Scott. How do you feel before your match? Sweaty. Sweaty? That's important. Come near me. I don't look at This is really what we're taking pictures of right now? No, you're on camera. Tell me about something in your life that you feel is important. Or turn your back to me. I'm putting the pressure on him. You think he'd do any less to me? Hold on, let me zoom in on that. Great job. You're going to do fantastic today, Scott. Congratulations.